Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. You're taking good care of yourself. You're washing your hands every day. So please go and take your maths book, take your student book and workbook. Be with them on your table before we start our lesson. Make sure you have everything so that you will not be standing up to go and search for pencil, to go and search what you want. Just put everything together before we start our lesson. So before we start our lesson, I'm going to show you a video. You are going to watch this video nicely. I will ask some few questions. Please make sure you pay attention to the video because it's very important before you do your work and follow instruction. Recall, mass is a measurement of how heavy or how light something is. To measure the mass of an object, we can use a weighing machine. A weighing machine has a rotating needle and a circular disc marked in standard units of mass. A common unit of mass is the gram. We write G in small letter to stand for gram. This weighing machine is marked out at every 100 grams. Let's measure and compare masses. This baseball has a mass of 150 grams. This basketball has a mass of 500 grams. We can say that the basketball is 350 grams heavier than the baseball. This basketball has a mass of 500 grams. Two identical basketballs will have a total mass of 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams is called a kilogram. We write K, G in small letters to stand for kilogram. The mass of heavy objects are measured in kilograms. The mass of heavier objects are measured in? Get that point in your head. Remember it. To measure the mass of heavy objects in kilograms, we need to use a different weighing machine. This weighing machine is marked out at every one kilogram. Let us now measure and compare masses in kilograms. These two identical basketballs have a total mass of one kilogram. This bowling ball has a mass of seven kilograms. It is as heavy as 14 basketballs. Remember, mass is a measurement of how heavy or light something is. Mass of a light object is measured in grams. Mass of a heavy object is measured in kilograms. Mass of a light object is measured in? Mass of a heavy object is measured in? Okay. Grams. So let's go back to our lesson today. So. Our lesson today, we are going to practice convert, convert, uh, converting between grams and kilograms. So, converting between uh, kilograms and grams, please, we review before about grams and kilograms on page 190. I hope you still remember them. And now, this is our learning objective. We already know our learning objective starting from before. Our learning objective to know the relationship between kilometers and meters, meters and centimeters, kilograms and grams, liters and milliliters. We have already done kilometers and meters. We have already learned meters and centimeters. And now we are doing kilograms and grams. And in our next lesson, we are going to learn about liters and milliliters. So read scale to the nearest division or a half division and use scales that are numbered or partially numbered. Know how to solve word problem. So before we continue with our lesson, 